And then I guess let's move to the Kansas City Chiefs. How do you fix Kadarius Tony? Because you don't. You, 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 how you do don't, you do it? You, you but, don't fix Kadarius Tony, and I feel like they're banging their head against the wall trying to fix Kadarius Tony. It almost felt like, hey, we're in a three touchdown ball or a three score ball game late in this game. We feel like it's in hand. Maybe that's why we're throwing him the ball, but I don't like him touching the ball at all. And maybe in that situation, they're trying to work him into you know some confidence or rhythm or whatever they're doing. But you see Patrick Mahomes on the sideline, and it's a look of a guy that I don't know if it's him, but somebody's sticking their neck out for this guy in that locker room or in that building. And it just the look of disappointment, like we've given you so many chances. And I kind of, I, I don't want to, I'm careful saying this because mm-hmm. Andy Reid's one of the best to ever do it. But eventually it's just his fault. It's the coach's fault um, because we know exactly who Kadarius Tony is. Why is he on the field? Like, why is he even getting a jet sweep? You know, it goes for two yards. The top end uh, returns aren't even there, you know? And I, I would extend it even further to when you're first and four at the goal line in a zero zero ball game, I think it is, you're not in position to play with your food. And I know they love creative stuff, but you got Mahomes in a three point stance, McKinnon taking a snap, and you're doing a shovel pass through Rasheed Rice, who's great, but it's a I think it's a running back pitching a ball to a wide receiver and he almost fumbles the ball. They score a touchdown and everybody's like, Oh, well, great, look how creative they are in the red zone. But it's like, why are you why are you living this way? Well, did you hear the backstory behind that one, Chris? Is that Rasheed Rice needed that um, score to set a, a rookie receiving touchdown record. And they talked about it before. Every single time they practiced it, it was a handoff from McKinnon to Rice. And they decided, okay, you need a touchdown reception. I'll flip it to you. And that's it, it, what mm, happened. That's the backstory me, behind it, apparently. Yeah. Well, after hearing that, it strikes me even more, uh, you know, as as a group playing with their food a little bit there. And I do think they have this championship DNA and having Patrick Mahomes, and I've been pounding the table saying they're going to turn it around. When Pacheco gets back, if you watch them, you know, that first snap in the red zone after they took that shot uh, off the off the rip, they're they're moving bodies. Like, you know, you, you Wise is going for a ride. They're moving Lawrence Guy. You know Trey Smith snapping to Vi's neck back like that's who they need to to be when Pacheco gets back. I know they can't do that right now, but I would just say like I know you're the smartest guy in the room, but maybe sometimes act like you're a rockhead and 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 play bully ball um, because you're not going to turn into a forty point a game outfit. Let's let's control the ball. Let's let's convert when we can. And Travis Kelsey, he might not be catching balls. Yesterday is a perfect example of like it's going to be hard down the stretch to get him the ball. The chess match between Andy Reid and Bill, you know, Andy trying to release him in line, motioning him, screening away from him. Even if he's not catching the ball, he's making plays for you. The other guys just have to make the layups. Like there's two guys in the flat on that first shot of the game, and that's because of Travis Kelsey. So find those opportunities, and the guys have to make layups. Well, and the last one for you on this, maybe Tony's out there because he's still better than the one that's the next man up. How about that as an idea? Yeah, but there's better than, but are you more dependable? I don't know the answer to that. And, you know, on defense, if we used to have, you know, offensive line, you have a fish, you try to protect around that guy, you don't have another choice. Um, Receiver is not usually a position I think about as like costing a team games, you know, because you can decide to throw that guy the ball or not, even if he's out there doing cardio, or you can put Richie James in there or somebody else. Like, I don't know the inner workings of what's going on in the building, but I see what's happening on the field. And to me, there have to be personnel decisions you can make by, by that. I mean, like getting 12 personnel, take a receiver off the field, uh, you know, or put a different guy in, you know, get a different guy for your gadget plays or take them out for a little bit. Uh, because it's not like they're yielding big returns. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 